back on Whitney again, taking the standard route this week. One week after cooking bananas foster in a snowstorm. Today I'm gonna to be making chicken and waffles on the summit, which I'm pretty stoked about. I've spent a lot of effort trying to get this waffle iron to work. It's cast iron, which means you gotta season it. It's pretty freaking difficult because of all the grooves in it. I don't have the best oil for it. You're supposed to use flaxseed oil, which I left at home and there's none in the grocery stores in town. So I've been trying coconut and canola every time until, I don't know, eight times. I got the waffles come out yesterday. So I'm hoping that lasts today. I can make a whole bunch of waffles. Bring in a ton of batter. I made the batter yesterday. And in half of the batter, I put a little bit of yeast. Oh, it'll make it lighter, more airy, maybe taste a little bit better. And then the chicken is pre-fried and I actually tested out frying the chicken again after overnight in the freezer and the fridge. Both came out even crunchier and better than when I first made them. It's heavy pack today. I actually weighed it out 44 pounds compared with last week when I did this, probably 10 pounds. I brought my bigger stove, the Snow Peak, which means that combined with the fact that I have two different things I'm making and a whole lot of it, like 12 chicken thighs and four cups of flour and batter, buttermilk. Oh, and tons of maple syrup. This is a, I uh, believe, 22-ish mile round trip, 6,000 feet of elevation gain. Last week, because I was running with a much lighter backpack, I did it in four hours to the summit, a little over two hours down, and then massively rolled my ankle. So this week, because I'm gonna go slower, shooting for six hours up and four hours down, hopefully make some friends along the way. I'm making chicken and waffles on the summit <laughs> for whoever happens to be there. That is so it's gonna be awesome. But I'll be up there until all the food runs out. So gotcha. I gotta go up there and start making it first. What's up guys? Great, how are you? Beautiful day. Beautiful day. Are you guys ready for some chicken and waffles on the summit? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm serious though. Cooking? Yeah, I'm cooking. That's crazy. There's like 12 chicken thighs, like fucking eight pounds of batter for the waffles. It's gonna be sick. Wow. Yeah. All right, you're an angel. It's gonna be sweet. I'll see you up there. <sighs> We've reached the Krista Trail. Two more miles, right? Like that. Thousand more feet of vert. <laughs> Pretty epic. Yeah, done. Done 5,000 feet of vert. So another 1,000 to go. It is freaking perfect day. Beautiful day out here. And it'll be even greater on the summit. Let's do this. Whitney Summit, 14508. I need a speaker. You guys can't hear what's playing on my headphones. But what I'm actually here guys for is uh, I'm making everyone on the summit today chicken and waffles for my YouTube video. Let's get this show on the road. Hmm. What's my cooking rock gonna be? That rock. Oh no. That's a kitchen if I've ever seen one. Chicken and batter. Cast iron waffle skillet. Let's get some waffles going first. Moment of truth. It's probably burnt. Come on, man. Damn it. Why does that happen? Oh, alright. 
Let's do it a half a waffle. <laughs> half a burnt waffle. Okay, let's at least get some chicken in there. If I can get one freaking waffle out today, I'll be happy. That's a waffle. Oh, oh. Oh, and the little chipmunk's eating, eating the waffle segment. Sorry, I'm making a mess, chipmunk. That's not really your food. Yes. Yes. Oh, success. I'm gonna actually make a chicken sandwich out of this and give this to you. Some lucky hiker. Can I get someone to eat this actual chicken and waffles here? Because I made an actual waffle. Just gonna take you want a fork triangle. and a knife? Or? No, I'm just gonna take just, one try. All right, just take so. a little bit. Here you go. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Best waffle ever, you know? Sure. Yeah, feel free, Um, you know, grab, grab anything from in there. Take as much or as little as you want. Hey, how's the chicken? Great. Give me the Yelp five-star review once you uh, <laughs> once you take a bite. Cheers. Cheers. Definitely the best thing I've eaten on over 4,000 feet. As per tradition, let's talk about learnings from today. I'm back at my car. It was quite a journey. Pack was 44 pounds up, 34 pounds down. Uh, my body hurts. I ran down, but not very fast. It's kind of a trot. So much safer than last week when I did this, when I screwed up my ankle. Didn't hurt myself. My body's just sore. Overall, it went spectacularly well. I remember how much I love doing this for crowds. It was awesome how many people there were, how many people I got to feed, how many people were excited and even motivated to get to the summit based on the fact that they knew that I was gonna be cooking up there. Uh, and they wanted to either see it or enjoy it or just be part of the experience. So that was really rewarding. And then I got to actually make it work. Um, practicing a ton at home with actual equipment and making sure I knew how to cook what I was gonna cook helped a lot in actually making this successful. So the waffles, the first waffle was bad, but actually I learned very quickly um, how to make the waffles great. Uh, the last few were spectacular. I really got the hang of it. The chicken was amazing and I, I knew how to do it. Super successful day. I am stoked to get out of here, get showered, get back home, um, eat some real food and do this again next week on some other mountain. Okay, if you want some chicken waffles on Mount Whitney, subscribe to the Wild Eating Channel. I couldn't have said it better myself. Let's Cheers. take a bite together. Cheers. <laughs>